Wicknell Chivayo, the businessman at the center of a massive scandal that's creating shockwaves within the ruling ZANU-PF par well-known figure in Zimbabwe's business circles, Chivayo, has been accused of using his connections to President Emerson Nangagwa to secure a lucrative $40 million tender from the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. This isn't just about a contract, it's about the deeper issues of corruption and patronage that have plagued Zimbabwe for years. The reaction within ZANU-PF has been anything but unified. On one side we have the main party wing maintaining a conspicuous silence. Some insiders suggest that this silence stems from key leaders being compromised by Chivayo's alleged patronage. This is in stark contrast to the vocal condemnation from the ZANU-PF Youth League, which has been calling for a thorough investigation. The scandal has exposed critical fault lines within the party. It's not just an internal issue, it raises significant questions about the integrity of Zimbabwe's political and business practices. The stakes are high and the world is watching. Now let's talk about the Politburo. Many expected Chivayo's antics to dominate discussions at the recent ZANU-PF Politburo meeting, but guess what? The topic wasn't even mentioned. According to insiders, despite the Youth League raising the issue before the meeting, it was completely sidelined. Why? Because, as one official put it, most top officials are compromised and unwilling to address the matter openly. This scandal is not just about one man's climb to wealth and power, it's about the broader implications for Zimbabwe's governance and public trust. As the controversy unfolds, all eyes will be on how various factions within ZANU-PF, government officials and anti-corruption bodies respond. The need for accountability and transparent governance has never been more pressing. Zimbabwe's stability and the trust of its people in their institutions hang in the balance. So, what do you think? Will this scandal push for real change within Zimbabwe's political landscape? Or will it be just another chapter in the long history of corruption? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on Zimbabwe's evolving political drama.